Most dangerous volcanoes in the world you will never guess what the number one volcano is. Like and subscribe for weekly videos. In the comments below, list one topic you think should be in a top 10 video and comment if you subscribed to this channel. Scientists simplify things to help us lay people understand volcanoes. The reality, of course, is more complicated. Every volcano is unique. Volcanologists must learn each individual personality and history when they try to help people living nearby. With limited resources, though, how do you choose which volcanoes to study? Here's how, when the United Nations made the 1990s its International Decade of Natural Hazard Reduction, volcanologists decided to focus on 16 volcanoes, two each from the US, Japan, and Italy, one each from 10 other countries. One of these decade volcanoes, Tal, in the Philippines, is making headlines right now. 10 Mount Meropi, Indonesia, population, almost 25 million people last known eruption. 2019 Much international collaboration has focused on Merapi during the Decade Volcano Program. It's one of Indonesia's most active volcanoes and sits in a heavily populated region. Merapi's eruptions are violent, too, with long-lived pyroclastic flows. Besides those terrifying grey death clouds, hazards at Merapi include lahars, an Indonesian word for mud flows, and big landslides. The worst eruption from Merapi recently, in 2010, killed over 100 people. 9. Niragongo, Democratic Republic of the Congo, population at risk, a little over 9 million people live within 62 miles, 100 kilometers, a million of them are less than 20 miles from the summit. Last known eruption, 2019 This African volcano has a flattish top like Goleros, in South America. Unlike Goleros, Niragongo has hosted a series of lava lakes for centuries. That's a deadly hazard, because those lakes drain every few decades and the lava is extremely fluid, meaning it can travel long distances, even into the nearby city of Goma. This has happened twice recently, in 1994, during the Civil War, and again in 2002, when it killed about 150 people in addition to causing enormous damage. Unfortunately, warfare and social problems have limited what international volcanologists can do here. But local hands have taken up the task of researching and monitoring this decade volcano. 8 Mount Rainier, USA, population at risk, almost 3 million people last known eruption, 1450 AD, eruptions during the 1800s have been reported but not confirmed, this world-famous landmark near Seattle, Washington, had its last big blast, a V4 eruption, about 2200 years ago, but that's not the only hazard. Mount Rainier, which is heavily glaciated, tends to collapse, causing enormous mud flows. This hasn't happened during recorded history. The residents of Armero, Colombia, weren't so fortunate in 1985. While their ice capped volcano, called Nevado del Ruiz, didn't collapse, its lava melted summit glaciers and sent down a mud flow that engulfed Armero and other communities, killing over 23,000 people. There was lots of warning, but nobody expected this. Thousands died who could have simply run a few hundred yards to safety. The Armero tragedy was a major factor behind both the UN Hazard Reduction Declaration and the Decade Volcano Project. Partly as a result of all this attention, Mount Rainier now has better monitoring and hazard mapping. As well, some legislation is in place to reduce future development in high risk zones and promote public awareness of the threats here. But many people near Rainier are still in denial. That's understandable, though very sad. It's human nature to never really believe that such a bad thing can happen to you, until it does. 7. Sakurajima, Japan, population at risk, 2.6 million people last known eruption, 2019 You might not have heard of this volcano, which sits on the same island as Mount Fuji, but farther south. The world-renowned Fujisan is a dire threat to Tokyo and the subject of intense research. Perhaps the Decade Volcano Selection Committee went with Sakura Gemma instead because this dangerous volcano isn't as well known. After all, you haven't seen the above happening in Tokyo recently. But that 2013 video shows one of the hazards that citizens of Kagoshima City, less than 5 miles from Sakura Gemma, often face. Sakura Gemma Volcano used to be an island in Kagoshima Bay until 1914, when one of its explosive eruptions also unleashed lava flows that connected it to the mainland. Now thousands of people live in the area, kids there wear hard hats, just in case it rains stones on the way to school. 6. Santa Maria Santaito, 
Guatemala, population at risk, 6,200,000 people last eruption, 2019 This is not two separate volcanoes, as with Avachinsky and Koryaksky on Kamchatka. Here, Santa Maria is the stratovolcano and Sontaito is what people call the lava dome complex near the summit. Sontaito has frequent minor eruptions. Also, the domes sometimes collapse, which cause pyroclastic flows. Larger explosions and mud flows are also possible. Nevertheless, lots of people still enjoy climbing 12,300-foot-high Santa Maria so they can look down on an eruption and take silly pictures. That dome complex has existed since 1929, when Santa Maria ended 27 years of violent eruptions that killed over 7,000 people. But Santa Maria slash Santaita's decade volcano status hasn't led to many government-financed projects yet. Guatemala has lots of volcanoes that demand attention. Officials still need to be convinced that preparation before another major eruption here will be less expensive than coping with the aftermath of one later. 5. Sandorini, Greece, population at risk, 67,500 last known eruption, 1950 Volcanologists are curious about the eruption history that gave Sandorini, also known as Thera, its dramatic appearance. They have identified at least four caldera-forming events over the last 180,000 years. The most recent, roughly 3,600 years ago, was a vase of an eruption. That's the one that may have doomed Minoan civilization, which centered on the nearby island of Crete. Or not. No one is really sure yet what closed down that amazing culture. Thanks to the Decade Volcano Program, Sandorini now has its first modern volcano observatory. So far, it has detected only occasional swarms of seismic activity, nothing that looks like an impending eruption. Fort Hayde, Canary Islands, population at risk. 766,000 people last known eruption, 1909 Actually, the entire island of Tenerife is a complex of stratovolcanoes that have been active since the Miocene times. Tede is just the highest, and also one of the youngest. Tede sits in 6 by 11 mile wide Las Canada's caldera, and the view from the top is tremendous. Those sulfur-producing fumaroles up there are the only visible sign of current activity. Tede has also had some earthquake swarms but is otherwise quiet. 3 Alor at Papua New Guinea, population at risk, 61,000 people last known eruption, 2019 You might not have heard of this island volcano in the South Pacific, but, along with contributions from an equally obscure Russian fire mountain, Alor and gave you purple sunsets last year. Alor and is one of Papua New Guinea's most active volcanoes. Its eruptions, though explosive, used to be fairly minor until the 1970s. From that point on, larger blasts became more common, including a V4 eruption in 2000. At the moment, this gorgeous tropical stratovolcano is once more behaving like one of the Daily Planet's mild-mannered reporters. We'll just have to stay tuned and see what happens next. 2. Unzane, Japan, population at risk. 7,300,000 people last known eruption, 1996 Yes, this is the one that killed volcanologists Harry Glicken, Katia Kraft, and Morris Kraft, along with 40 other people in 1993. Unsane isn't so much a single volcano as it is a mashup of three large stratovolcanoes and several lava domes, taking up most of the Shimabara Peninsula east of Nagasaki. Pyroclastic flows are a major hazard here and sometimes collapsing material falls into the sea, generating tsunamis like the one in 1792 that accounted for most of the 14,000-plus casualties from Unzane that year. Unzane awakened in 1990, forcing evacuations and destroying more than 2,000 buildings near Shimabara City. All is quiet now, but when Unzane stirs again, activity forecasts will be more accurate thanks to data obtained from decade volcano studies and other research. 1. Vesuvius, Italy, population at risk, more than 6 million people last known eruption, 1944 You knew Vesuvius would be on the list, all because of the video above. Yes, that's what a V5 eruption looks like close up. The only typical volcanic hazards not shown in this animation are lava, gas, and tsunamis, though these all claimed victims that day, too. Pyroclastic flows, lava, and gas have killed people and caused massive damage during other Vesuvius eruptions, including the last one in the 1940s. Tsunami generating landslides into Naples Bay are possible, too. 
While everyone has been aware of the hazards here for centuries, the issue was first addressed during the Decade Volcano Program. Now, emergency plans based on the Pompeii eruption and another powerful eruption in 1631 are in place and reviewed regularly. It's not easy to evacuate Naples and surrounding areas, but Vesuvius will not catch scientists and emergency personnel sleeping the next time it roars to life. The worst volcano in the world is always going to be the one erupting near you, whether it's on a scientific list or not, but thanks to the Decade Volcano Program, lessons have been learned that help people survive and manage a volcanic crisis wherever it occurs.